What's up everybody? I'm Callie. I'm a dad and this is Callie Dad Taste Test and you can't see my hands when I do <laughs> I do hand stuff all the time off frame. I need to either sit back further or put the camera lower, which that's not a good idea. You don't you don't need to see how many sit-ups I need to do. We're doing a uh, Mexican soda video today because I felt like it <laughs> I shouldn't be drinking soda. Uh, I got I got problems. Actually, this is the first time I'd be drinking soda in like months, actually, now that I think about it. Which I'm sure is gonna go great for my digestive system. Uh, we're gonna start off with baseline. Mexican Coke. Every, if you haven't had Mexican Coke, you should. It, it tastes different, it tastes better, as I'm gonna remind myself right now. We're just establishing a baseline. Hey, this is Mexican soda. This is what you should start out with if you're exploring this world. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. You have this with some tacos. I'm not trying to be stereotypical. This just like goes well with Mexican food, I think. I don't know what it is about comparing it to... It, it, it feel, definitely feels more flavorful than normal Coke. I don't really like normal Coke that much. Normal Coke has a harshness to it that this doesn't quite have. It, it's a little more sweet. Although I heard that they're starting to actually use the high fructose corn syrup. That's the thing I was trying to think of. But uh, these ingredients say, it says cane sugar. There you go, it still says cane sugar. Why would they lie? That's good stuff. That's a solid eight out of 10. I don't drink soda anymore, but I really like Mexican Coke. Somehow, I have never had Mexican Pepsi. I've never had it. I, it's just not a thing you see anywhere bottled in purchase New York <laughs> as far as base cola is concerned I'll, I'll take Pepsi over coke any day same with the cherry although I like both cherries I have hype I have a lot of opinions about soda I just can't drink it anymore <laughs> anyway yeah this is my first time having uh, Mexican Pepsi Tastes pretty close to normal Pepsi, honestly. And all I can think about is how bad I'm gonna feel in like 10 minutes. I also haven't had normal Pepsi in a very long time, but this really just reminds me of normal Pepsi. I, I don't know if it tastes any different. <laughs> Which is, Pepsi is fine. Normal Pepsi is fine. When I used to get Pepsi, I would just shove a lemon in there. The few places that have Pepsi on tap, uh, you know, you just shovel lemon Pepsi is good. There used to be Pepsi twist back in the day That's been gone for quite a while. All right, we're diving deeper down the Mexican soda hole That's that sounds bad. How would you even say this? Mondet? Monday? Because it's Spanish. Just apple soda. All these just say carbonated water, sugar, and then whatever the next main flavor is uh, there it goes. <laughs> My body's already rebelling against me. This just says made in Mexico. It doesn't say where it's bottled. Wait, no, there it goes. Uh, El Paso, Texas. At least this one is bottled near here as opposed to New York. Anyway, apple soda. Tastes like apple juice, honestly, but sparkly. It it, it doesn't taste as a uh, apple juice has a harshness. I, I I don't like apple juice. I like apples. I have an apple with breakfast almost every day. Uh, I don't like apple flavored things. Uh, same with watermelon. I I like the fruit a lot. I just don't like the uh, the flavor because it's different. It's a different flavor. Up next, uh, we had to get some haritos in here. This is. Tamarind, Haritos. This is another flavor I don't like. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna try it anyway. There's like eight, nine different flavors of Haritos. And they're all pretty normal. And then there's tamarind. I haven't had anything tamarind in a long time just because I don't like the flavor, but I would <laughs> I went into this uh, figuring I was going to have an unpleasant experience anyway. So I might as well try some flavors I don't like and see if I still don't like them. Uh, 
That's not too bad. It's pretty sweet. Uh, the the tamarind is pretty mellow. I I've had like just tamarind, you know, juice the infernal flavor packet. I don't like that. I think I'm just too white for that. <laughs> I don't know. This is fine. This is fine. This is like a solid six. Uh, Serge isn't here doing soda with me because he uh, doesn't like the carbonation and also most soda. We went to this deli once uh, downtown here, Shiloh's, and uh, they had like pure root beer. It was like they made their own root beer and it was, uh, that's the only soda that Serge has ever liked. It's a little personal soda history there for you. I don't drink soda anymore because of IBS and also like I used to have a really bad dehydration problem. I think I've mentioned that before. Like I, I used to work for Papa John's when I was like 19 and I would just drink soda all day because I was driving around and Valero used to have these big, big 64 ounce cups of soda. It's probably for the best that they don't have them anymore. <laughs> Man, remember when McDonald's had a humongous size? Ugh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I used to drink a lot of soda and I got dehydrated. I used to have like actual dehydration problems because of the amount of soda I was drinking. It was bad. It was real bad. Last but not least, we got Sangria Senorial. I don't know if Senorial is a word that means something. I don't think I know what Sangria tastes like. We're about to find out. It's a uh, fruity. Not sure what this flavor is. Ugh. I'm getting a lot of carbonation though. You know what? Here, we're we're here to learn. It's wine and fruit juice. So what is this made out of? Grape. I, yeah, that, I definitely got that taste of grape juice. I mean, I know it's probably somebody's recipe, but I was like, I know this flavor somewhere. I've not had grape juice in a very long time. This tastes like grape juice, except with more fruit. Yeah, that's a that's a nostalgic flavor. What have we learned today? I learned what sangria is made out of, and also that I still really like Mexican Coke. And I'm gonna feel bad the rest of the day, probably. <laughs> Hit me up on Twitter at Caladad Taste, and if you want to uh, like this video, please do. That would be very much appreciated. I don't have anything else to say.